Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Barbora Krajikova. Please raise your hand, state your name and organisation when asking your question. Barbora Krajikova, Wimbledon Ladies Singles Champion. How does that sound? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds crazy. I mean, it sounds crazy, but uh, yeah, I'm super happy. I'm super happy that 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 I won today and then that that. Uh, yeah, that I was able to lift up the the trophy and and yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a great feeling. <laughs> Congratulations, Barbara. Obviously, since you won three years ago, you knew this was you were capable of this. I wonder, in the thirteen Grand Slams you competed since, did something feel different about this one? Like, why why now? Do you think why this tournament? I have no idea why this tournament. I mean, I had really tough draw at, uh, from the from the very first match and and I was just going match by match and I was just feeling better and getting better and yeah I mean here I am I don't know how that happened but but yes I'm I'm a, I'm a winner of this edition <laughs> Hey Barbara Itamal from Sport Arts and congratulations on your achievement I wonder how much importance uh, does your experience in finals, because you obviously played a lot of doubles finals, you won almost all your finals so far, how important it is in a singles match, in a singles final? How different it is and how important it is? Well, I think it's definitely, it definitely helped me. It's, a, it's an advantage uh, that I was able to play a lot of finals in a, in a doubles and in a, in a mixed doubles. And that I was there with, uh, with my partner to, to, to share all the all the emotions that are that are going that are going through through you during the during the match and it definitely it definitely helped me also for my for my singles matches Elena hi Barbara we we saw you looking at your name and and Jana's name on on the mm -hmm. honors board and obviously it was a very emotional moment mm -hmm. for you I just wonder what, what what did that mean to you what was uh, what was going through your head well, the only thing that was going through my head was that that I that I miss Jana a lot, and it was just very, very emotional, very emotional moment to see to see me on a on a board to ride next to her. Oh, I think she would be proud. I think she would, she would be, really excited that that I'm on a on the same board as as she is because Wimbledon was super special for her. Okay. Oh, well, congrats. Uh, how long did you work together with Nurburna, and what was on the letter you gave to her? Um, we started beginning of 2014 uh, until she she passed away, and well, <laughs> I'm not one like I'm not exactly sure what I wrote in the letter right now, but I wrote something that I'm playing I'm playing tennis that I'm 18. I just finished juniors and and that I don't know what to what to do right now. So if she could like look at me and 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 maybe help me, guide me, tell me, tell me which direction should I go. Yeah, I, I'm curious. Just and this may be too sensitive, but I'm curious. You know, you talk about missing her. Um, do you ever sort of? Have conversations with her in your head, or I'm dreaming writing. about her a lot. Excuse me. I'm dreaming about dreaming. her. Yeah, like in in the dream. Yeah. What's what's happening in those dreams? Uh, well, I think it's very personal, so I would just keep it like this. But yes, I'm like I'm dreaming about her and be talking in the, in the dreams. At the back there. Yeah, you. Uh, congratulations, Barbara. The first set seemed to flow beautifully for you, like you weren't thinking. The second set was more of a challenge. Uh, were you kind of a little bit set back by the way Jasmine came back at you, or were you expecting dips in the game? Well, I mean, yes, I started well. Uh, I mean, for me, it was uh, it was good. It was a, I mean, good start to the to the match. Uh, I was happy with the first set. I mean, then in the second, I think she improved. I think she kind of like all the stress and everything. It just went went away, and she started to be more smooth and started to play play better. And I mean, I still had my chances there, but I didn't convert them. And and uh, yeah, I mean, then the set was was tough to tough to come back. 
and then I mean in the in the third we were holding the we were holding the serves and and I mean I was just fighting for every single ball and I I, I believe that I'm gonna that I'm gonna get the uh, get the opportunity to 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 break it and and I did and 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 yeah I mean then the the rest is history. <laughs> Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, what uh, went through your mind when you were serving for the match? 5-4, there was a 16 points uh, game. And before that, you had won, uh, you had lost only one point in four serves. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, uh, 30 love for you, double fold. Uh, was, he, was he very emotional? I mean, was different from other well situations? I mean, I expect it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to serve it out, but I but I believe that I can do it. Uh, I mean, I started the game well. Uh, Jasmine, she was returning quite well. She 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 put every single ball in, and and we were we were fighting for the balls. Uh, I mean, the only thing I was telling myself just you know try to make first serve and 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 try to play your shot and and just be brave and you know if it's not going to work out it's going to be five fall and the match is it's it's not over it, the match is go going to continue so i was quite prepared for for both options howard hey um if you're willing to share a little more about um the start of your relationship with uh, yana and what happened after the letter how long was it until the two of you were in more regular touch when she began helping you? Well, I think after the letter was maybe like a week uh, before we actually went to hit. And that pretty much after that, that hit, uh, we were basically in touch a lot. And then I think, I don't know how long it took, but it was quite, quite quick when she started to like helping me, working with me and, and, and giving, her, giving her time to me. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Does winning a second major title sort of change anything for you in the way you view yourself as a player? Do you think, you know, expectations will change for you from yourself going forward? No. No, I mean, I, I still I still feel the same. Uh, I mean, it's great. It's great that, that I'm a two-time major, major champion. It's it's something unbelievable. But, I mean, on the, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I still, I, I'm still the same person. I still love tennis very much, and I still wanna uh, continue playing tennis well and 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 fight for fight fight for other tournaments. Um, I apologize for asking another question about Johanna, but this is such a special story that touches so many people. My question is: uh -huh. Now, after winning this incredible championship, if you could say something to Yana. What would you say to her? Well, I think I, f I think I would turn it around. I would like to s hear what she would tell me. <laughs> That's, I guess. What do you think she might say to you on this day? I think she would tell me that she's very proud about me and that she's super happy and that I don't know. <laughs> That's maybe something else. I don't know. <laughs> I will want a congratulation uh, with an achievement. You're the first Czech player to win two slam on two different surfaces. So my question is, what do you expect when you come home? A big party, big celebration? Uh, what do you expect? I mean, it's unique. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not really expecting anything. <laughs> no, will... nobody. <laughs> no, well, I don't, I don't think that, but I don't know. I was never in this situation. I was never in a situation like this, so I don't know what to expect. What we happened see. after French Open? Nothing special. Nothing. Nothing big. Uh, Whew. Yeah, it's long. I mean, it's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barbara. Yeah, people around who follow sports will think of you as a, a two-time major champion now, but you're actually a 12-time major champion with all your doubles titles. Do you feel okay. like there should be such a gap in terms of how people in general look at doubles titles versus singles titles? And how do you feel inside? How, how different is it to win singles versus doubles? Well, 
it is different. I mean, it's definitely different, especially in a, in like a, I guess in a, like a media and fans views. I think that's different. I mean, for me, winning a slam in any category is a, is a extremely great uh, achievement. And do you wish it were different? Or are you, are you at peace with the fact that singles is here and doubles is more low? Well, I think it should be more equal, but there is not much I can do about it, so. I've got a similar, similar question that you have said in the past that you haven't received the enough credit from, from, from the media also being a Grand Slam yeah. a singles champion. Do you think this is gonna be kind of different now that you are a uh, Wimbledon champion? I don't know. What do you think is the, is the reason? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take two more, Willie, and then? When did Wimbledon <laughs> become a dream of yours, and how does the dream match the re how does the reality match the dream? Uh, it's tough to say. I mean, because I don't really think that. I mean, winning any Slam is a is a great, and winning here at the Wimbledon is is huge, for me. Uh, but I wouldn't really say that it was kind of like my, my dreams. Like, you know, when I was very little, like I have like a little, like a notebook that I wrote, I think when I was like 12 and I don't know, maybe like three, four months ago, I was listing like through the, through the, through the, uh, through the, through that notebook. And I had there that in the future, like back then when I, when I was 12, I wrote that in the future, I would like to win the French Open. So it was quite a like a big dream for me to win the French Open. And to be honest, maybe things shifted a little bit when I actually met Jana. And when she was telling me all the stories about Wimbledon and, and about the grass and how difficult it was for her to, to win the title and how emotional she was when she actually made it. And I think since then I started to see the see the Wimbledon like a like a like a like the biggest tournament in a, in the world. And how does the reality match what you thought? It's it's great. <laughs> it's great. It feels it feels so good. <laughs> okay, one one more English question here. Ashley from Quantum Shop. Congratulations. You said on court that this is the best day of your life. Do you think you're playing the best tennis of your career? Mm, I think I do. Yes, I think I did, because today was very difficult, and I really had to dig deep in every in every aspect, also in tennis, but also mentally. And I'm extremely proud that 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 I was able to 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 do that, to to hold everything together, and and to just win the win the win the win the finals. Great, we're going to switch to check questions now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. If you can leave quietly, please. <laughs>